So uh, my name is David Wu. Uh, Wu is me. And I've been on the, the board of Weaver's Way for a bunch of years. I've been a member since 1990 on and off. Uh, I first joined REI in 1980. Um, my parents, when I grew up in New York City, shopped in a, in a co-op with the Twin Pines logo. And I really didn't have an understanding of what that meant uh, until I, I knew a little bit more. And when I moved to Philadelphia, you know, people were telling me about Weaver's Way I should join. And at the time, we were only a little corner store. And, and we want to talk about thriving in, in, in a competitive marketplace and how we've thrived and how we've done that is, is I suppose, is focus on, 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 on business and being able to execute the will of the membership and being a board to properly educate that membership what an appropriate will is. Like, we don't want anybody going, I think we need to buy a helicopter for those deliveries out to the golf course. We don't need something like that. We want to be appropriate on what is possible. And we've got to be able to figure out what the will of our membership is and how to educate them on arriving at that location. So, uh, and, and <coughs> pardon me, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting over a cold, or it's just getting over me. And the thing I want everybody to always think about, the raw materials for a lot of the answers that we have are in the cooperative principles. If you get a question from a gadfly or a member, you circle back to the cooperative principles, the majority of the raw material is there. It's the ore for the answers that we have. And that gives you something in terms of being able to elucidate what we really need to get out there. Number one, you know, we don't have a Sunday school for co-op kids. We don't have brownies for co-op kids. We don't have a Girl Scout program or ROTC for co-op youth. We're kind of catching up. I mean, like, you know, Moses had his tablets, you know, four or 5,000 years ago. We've only got the cooperative principles from 1844. We don't know what happened before all that data was lost. We've only got the written tenets down for 170 years. So in a way, we've got a lot of time to make up. And part of that is being able to get out there and to be savvy enough to communicate and tell our story and give the narrative to the right people in the right way. The majority of the journalists out there, they don't know anything about cooperative principles because number one, it's not taught in public school. Most private schools don't teach it. It's not taught in religious schools of any type. This has to change. It's up to us to figure out how to do that. A way to think about that would be events like this, we should invite a couple of hungry journalists to come in and give them credentials to have lunch with us and to talk with us and to say, I'm here because I want to share the power of the economic democracy that this consumer cooperative gives for me. That's what we want to really think about because all the other stuff we're talking about, we've been to conferences before, we've heard these stories, there's really nothing new under the sun, but telling our narrative and getting that narrative out in terms of being able to compete We've got to be better at it. We already know that we've got that one competitive advantage that a Whole Foods or a Fresh Market or a Wegmans cannot do, and that is governance of the people who shop in that co-op. There is no way any of these corporate entities can say that. And it's the one thing we need to be really on top of and exercise and tell that story and know that story inside and out. Every conference we go to, we should think about writing a story for our local paper. We should think about inviting a journalist that we know to come in ex you know, and to see and to meet some of these people to get that story beyond this choir. We are all people who are the core of the core of the core. We are the tip of the spear, so to speak, the pinnacle of cooperative advocacy and enthusiasm. Well, in order to get the rest of the people to understand that, Unless it gets picked up in the curriculum of all the public schools across this country, we've got to talk to the journalists. We've got to talk to public media. We've got to talk to the newspapers and the TV shows and to tell them what it's about. I mean, one thing that I've started doing too with a lot of startup groups, and there's a startup group in New York called the Real Estate Investment Cooperative that I've been going to some of their meetings. And one thing that I did was actually read the, the statement of definition. And I'd like to be able to repeat that with all of your general membership meetings. 
because people don't get it until they hear it a couple of times. You know? and, and I'm sure none of us have heard it very often, but you might have read it. But when you hear these words out loud, definition. A cooperative is an autonomous association of persons united voluntarily to meet their common economic, social, and cultural needs and aspirations through a jointly owned and democratically controlled enterprise. This cuts through a lot of what a novice won't know. They'll listen to that, they'll hear that. When I say co-op, I don't say co-op because there's a demographic cohort. Somebody who's, you know, grew up in the 60s or the 70s, they're gonna think dirty hippies with long hair and eating food out of garbage cans. Somebody, a millennial is gonna go, what, is that, a, is that like a rotary phone, a co-op? I don't know anything about that. So we've got to be able to adjust that, and we've got to be able to give people an opportunity to understand it. We've got to be those advocates. And in order for us to do a better job at that, to compete, we've got to train. You've got to get in front of a camera. You've got to get interviewed a couple of times. You've got to figure out how to talk to those reporters and to tell our story. We've got it down pat. There are a lot of co-ops out there doing it very well, and we're sharing that information and knowledge, and people are picking up on it. We need that extra step. We need the public buy-in. We need to do a campaign to get people to vote and to shop co-op. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.